All right, today I wanted to do a video <clears throat> on this Axial SCX24 that I got about a month ago. I posted my unboxing video about this, but uh, just wanted to do a quick review after owning it for a month and what issues I've had with it, which I'll be honest right now, I haven't had any. I've been super impressed with this thing, but uh, I got the pin pulled already. I actually stuck it up there so I don't lose it. Uh, the battery in here, I will say the only issue I have had is if you leave this plugged in right here. If you leave it plugged into the receiver, even when it's off, it will drain the battery overnight. So that's kind of, it is kind of annoying. But uh, that's the 2S 350 milliamp 30C battery. Uh, it definitely works good. Not swollen or anything. I've drained it completely accidentally uh, like two or three times now just by shutting it off and throwing it on the counter. Uh, the springs are not oil filled, but that doesn't really, this is so small, it doesn't really affect that much. Even if they were oil filled, I don't, I probably wouldn't notice it with this little thing. Maybe a little bit when it bounces and flips, but uh, still all around a really fun, small RC car, especially for in the house. I have a 10th scale in this little 24 scale. You can just do so much more with it in the house when it's, uh, too cold outside and the weather is not permitting to go outside and play with the bigger ones and I've had a ton of RC's and these little ones are really they're just they're super fun in the house you can crawl over anything kids toys you can make a little uh, make a little course and crawl over it it's real fun these tires I really like the tires super accurate and I like how soft they are they grip really well and uh, yeah, just, they give you a ton of traction, and this thing has a ton of torque. Just that, that tiny little motor in there. Uh, just super impressed by just a tiny brush motor, how well it works. Like, this will push a little kid's ride-on car pretty easily on the hardwood floor. And it has, these tires provide enough traction to where it will push it and not have any trouble doing it. Uh... Like side to side slop in the links there's a little bit but it doesn't seem to affect anything for use so I'm not really bothered by that and I think like most people are gonna probably change this stuff out anyway <clears throat> after the, they buy it and they're gonna mod it and everything so that's why they they probably don't send it with the best links that you can get but like these little drive shafts in there I have not snapped one and I have like put this thing through the ringer just trying to break it to see if I can break it and I have not broke it yet I'm pretty surprised only thing I have had have done is like the front bumper is a little loose but it's like catching on stuff and then I just keep pushing and it hasn't snapped it off yet it is a little bit loose I haven't tried to tighten it you can see there's just a couple little allen screws in there that hold it on Honestly, if I tighten it up, it, it'd probably be stiff again. It's overall, really impressed with it, though. Uh, the, let's see, the rec not the receiver, but this, uh, this up here does rub on the frame a little bit. Not a big deal. It doesn't affect, doesn't catch, but it does rub a tiny bit up there. But, uh, yeah, overall, I do really like this. Really good product, super impressed with it, and uh, I plan on actually plan on modding this one. Like uh, one thing I do want to upgrade is get more weight down low because it does seem a little bit top heavy, but not too worried about that. It's fun the way it is, and uh, it's fun to play with. I'll go ahead and get this plugged in right here. Turn it on. I don't know if I showed this in my other video. Oops, already turned on. But when you turn it on, let's see here. Flip that on. Wait for it. There we go, we're turned on now. But when you turn that on, I don't know if I showed this in the last video. We got the switch right here. You can see the lights. You can turn them on and off. And then third time forward makes them flash it's kind of cool 
But uh, overall, a good product if you're looking for one of these small scale crawlers. I'd definitely recommend the SCX24. Uh, it's been a good product. I've gotten it wet and it hasn't broken anything. And uh, it's just real fun. And you can see how touchy this throttle is. And you can't break this thing. I haven't broke it yet. Super impressed with it. And I'd recommend it.